some practical support and assistance with regards to starting point. Okay, with regards to starting point, the key is self-movement. Now we're going to have a look at accepting and allowing a starting point within and as energy, wherein one's starting point is being initiated by and through energy that then take one into a movement of moving, um, but that is not in fact self-movement. So we're going to have a look at the difference between self-movement and initiated movement within and as a starting point of energy. So let us use, for example, a very common point of initiated movement uh, that is done through the starting point of energy as guilt perpetuated by and through thoughts of judgment. Uh, this is one of the most common forms of initiated movement or mind movement um, that is existent within beings due to the aspect of victimization that is or within which human beings are quite prone to, um, wherein we have, in essence, manifested ourselves into a total state of self-victimization, where we um, are currently existent within a constant state of inferiority and fear towards everything and everyone due to our acceptance and allowance of subservience and suppression and enslavement to, towards our very selves and everything and everyone as ourselves within and as existence. So we have literally limited ourselves to the complete state of limitation and separation. Um, yet also quite specific from a certain perspective because it's like we have separated ourselves and limited ourselves to such an extent that the only point where we can start to relive ourselves into an as equality in one is to take responsibility and stand up from our acceptance and allowance is ourselves. Meaning it's like we've literally retracted everything and all of ourselves from everything and everyone to this one point that is ourselves and we can only stand up from this one point that is ourselves to re-establish ourselves within who we really are as equality and oneness so therefore the starting point must be self and is self now how to live that starting point as self and ensure that it is not energy from a starting point of going into that habit of self-victimization through using judgment and guilt. Okay, um, so with regards to your starting point, now when you, for example, you've got to, with regards to starting point, um, take note of and be aware of your line or pattern or particular design of thought um, because a starting point initiated or mind movement within energy always has a starting point of thoughts. Now many have experienced the point of falling uh, wherein you believed or perceived or experienced yourself to be in a certain state of application and then an event happened and the event basically within assessing your application within the moment of the facing of that event was completely contradictory to how you perceived or believed or experienced yourself or your application to be. Now, herein is a, is a frequented mistake that's made by many beings in terms of having this one solid idea of yourself um, 
and your application and your experience of yourself and then you try and superimpose that one idea you have of yourself upon like all the events and all the people all the situations all the experiences and all the circumstances that's out there within existence that is infinite so the point of falling is never real i mean you only create that perception idea and belief of falling because you're attempting to or trying to superimpose one idea or belief or perception you have of yourself your experience and your application based on an infinite amount of things that you still have to learn about yourself so really a point of falling is simply a point of learning it's not falling realize and understand this point it's so important because beings unnecessarily drive themselves to a point of giving up because they judge themselves based on this point or experience of falling when it's not falling you just have to know and realize that all of you is kind of out there meaning you're in the process of standing equal to and one with yourself and points where you perceive or believe or experience yourself to be falling is simply indication points where you are not standing equal and one with yourself it's learning curves it's stepping stones um, showing you where you're not standing or equal and one within yourself uh, so with regards to starting point so when beings for example experience themselves falling um, and what they do then is the mistake that's also made within the perception idea and belief of falling is comparing uh, your application like after the point of falling you will go through a period of judgment um, wherein beings then tend to uh, judge their point of falling because you compare how you acted in the event um, to the idea you had about yourself and then you think that your idea was real and that your actual physical reality experience wasn't real that your actual physical reality experience was a mistake and not realizing that the idea that you created was already the point of separation that you accepted and allowed and it's only your idea that's kind of influencing your learning point or your realization point within this physical reality event that you face um, and then the phase or period of judgment comes where that point of comparison uh, manifests within yourself and your thoughts and uh, then there's a period of depression or like feeling sorry for self going into that whole state of self victimization and then your thoughts start turning again so you kind of ride the waves of going up and down and up and down within yourself in a total emotional feeling state about the experience that happened um, but then an interesting thing manifests within self now due to all these thoughts and um, experiences within self of and as judgment through comparison a guilt manifests because now you go oh my god i've now allowed myself to judge myself and going to this whole emotional state because of that point of comparison now i haven't applied myself and now because of that period of judgment that you had where you didn't uh, where you allowed yourself to fall after the point of falling um you're now going to a state of guilt and then you're now in kind of like a double comparison point because you've now firstly come compared your falling point with your self idea you had and now you're upon that comparing your your whole falling after the falling towards your self application because you didn't stand up and you know it's a whole mess so then the guilt come and then you try and stand up within the guilt because now you're going oh my god oh my god i didn't apply myself i'm such a mess look what i did and then you try and push and move and direct and apply yourself within guilt and energy that point or that energy or that sudden drive that you experience for now wanting to stand up and wanting to make up for it and wanting to fix it 
that's done within and as a starting point of guilt. You're going to fall again, meaning what is that falling again showing you? You've got to reassess yourself, your starting point, your application. So whenever you feel or experience a point of falling, the first point you do is, okay, what was my starting point in the first place? Was it me or was it mind initiated movement? Um, and then also assess, did you have an idea of yourself um, that's created this perception, idea and belief that you have apparently fallen in relation to this event? So people don't create this one idea of yourself in relation to your application and experience and superimpose that upon everything in your existence. It's not going to work. I mean, you're going to continue expanding and changing um, as you walk your process and face events in your world. You cannot hold just onto one idea of yourself. However, we walk one principle. That is our platform, which is equality and oneness. But that very quality and oneness is, is absolute and infinite in its expression and manifestation. And then also ensure that you don't move yourself within the starting point of guilt as energy. Your energy will run out if you try and drive and push and force yourself within that. Because it wasn't real and you're going to create the perception, idea and belief of falling again from that perspective. Because you think you're you're not moving or applying yourself or you can't move or can't apply yourself but it's not that you can't it's just that you've previously based your movement and your application on energy instead of yourself self movement is thus not done within the sudden i've got to go now and do this and drive myself and oh my god to do this i have to do that i have to fix this I have to. that's not movement that's str that's trying to fix because of experiencing guilt and that's actually then application within self-interest to soothe your own judgments and guilt within as yourself and not an actual practical consideration in relation to self and who you are in your living within your world and your reality so movement is simply a living that's here meaning you direct yourself you walk you participate normally within your world and your reality. Normally meaning you walk, you participate, you talk, you do, um, you direct, get done what's required to be done. And as the points open up within your world and your reality to be faced, then you take them on in the moment. Don't unnecessarily start creating problems in your world and your reality. You've got more than enough that's coming your way as you face yourself and walk every day of your life so take it easier on yourself simply wake up in the morning take a breath do what you need to get done and as you do your daily activities and things come your way trust yourself to know that you will accordingly direct yourself in the moment and learn from that moment as you walk in self honesty and equality and oneness as self here thanks Get up.